Thanks for staying with us. We have with us Dr. Abayomi Ajayi, obstetrician and gynecologist, the friend of the house. He's a managing director of Nordica Facility Center. He'll be discussing endometriosis with us on the show. Welcome to the show. Thank you so Good much. Good to have you back. It's always a pleasure to be here. So, we've I'm talked... so blessed. <laughs> yes, you're always there when you come around. <laughs> so, endometriosis is a condition we've discussed also for many years, and it, we can't stop talking about it, especially this is International Women's Month. We have to continually remind ourselves of this condition and see how we can best help women to go through. So, for those who have no idea what this condition is, could you tell us what it is and what, what causes it? Okay, thank you so much. Uh, endometriosis is a condition where a woman has the endometrium, which is the inner line of the uterus, which is what a woman sheds every month in the menstrual cycle. Uh, when she has it in other places, apart from where it is normally supposed to be, which is inside the uterus. Now, the thing about this is that when you ha it behaves exactly like the one in the, that is the normal place. So it builds and sheds. So it's like... You, it, for example, the common places where we have it on the ovary, so in the abdomen yeah. generally. So it's like you are bleeding into your abdomen every month. Mm. Oh. And so what that causes is that, uh, because blood is not supposed to be in the abdomen, what happens over time is that the, all the organs start coming together to, like, glued together. Ooh. So we have, like, an, what we call an inflammatory process. So, and it can... Most of the time, it comes with a lot of pains, okay? And then uh, it can also cause infertility. But the problem with this condition is that it's rarely diagnosed because it affects about 10% of women. But so if you cast your mind back, the, I mean, if in your high school, maybe there's some girls at the age of 12, 14, and some people say, oh, they've started, I mean, Back in those days, yeah. uh, they, they, they started having intercourse. That's why they're always having pain when they're mm. menstruating. But for God's sake, some of them just have endometriosis. Mm. So, but it's actually so bad that not only in Nigeria, it's worldwide. And that's why it's like the world is repenting now on endometriosis. Mm. They've given a whole month, the month of March, as Endometriosis Awareness Month because of the fact that normally it takes about eight to ten years, even in advanced countries, between when symptoms start and when diagnosis is made. Wow. So in Nigeria, it takes like forever. Actually, about, we started talking about endometriosis about 15 years ago. Mm. When we started, people could not even pronounce the word. I remember they would say endo, and that's your endo. But now, it, I think we're better. We're, we're better now in Nigeria. Many people actually also have an idea right. what it is. Okay, sir. So, uh, I remember being in secondary school, there were quite a number of us that once we were in our period, it was excruciatingly painful. painful. You would be on the floor, rolling on the floor. We knew all the painkillers, all the, you know, that we had to use. And I'm wondering, could, could, could that have been a sign of endometriosis? And as a school or as a parent of a child who has such... Um, bad menstrual cramps, should that be a time where you should take your child to the hospital to be checked to see if that could be a problem? Exactly. Because the commonest problem or the commonest symptom of endometriosis is pain. Painful menstrual period. What we say now is that if you have menstrual period pain that is disturbing you from doing chores, please go to the doctor. Mm. So some of them, one thing about endometriosis is that it's not every one of them that progresses. Okay. Some might not progress, but some will have progressed. And what we want to be able to do is to catch them before actually the ones that will progress will start progressing because that is when you now have all the complications. So it's going to be cured. Because what we it used cannot to be cured, it can be managed. Because so what we used to get then, for those of us that had painful periods, don't worry, once you start having babies, it will be fine. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That is actually one of the things that we want people to start to stop this. Pain. Yeah, because you see, imagine, I know some mothers that are apologizing to their daughters now. You have four girls, and only one of them, when she's menstruating, everything comes to a halt. Mm. The other three... I'm moving like normal. Causes depression. 
Yes. It does. Yeah. That pain. So many things that it causes, and that's one of the things that we're looking at now, that look, there's so many marriages that have been broken mm. because of endometriosis. Because some women cannot consummate their marriage because of the pain that they have from endometriosis. Mm -hmm. Because one of the things that sex can become very painful, and some people will outrightly avoid having sex. Mm. So, um, how can it be managed? Is it by you operate or drugs or how, how do you manage it? Yeah, wonderful. Now, depends on who we are talking about now. At what stage is this? Okay. Um, for some, drugs will do it. Okay. Usually drugs that will, because what causes the endometriosis is that you need to ovulate, menstruate, and then that also is deposited in the, where you don't want it to be as well. So if you use drugs that prevent a woman from ovulating and menstruating, then you can reduce the progression of uh, eh? endometriosis. There are drugs I can use to stop people from menstruating. Like, if I want to stop now, I can use drugs. For real? I will give you free of charge. What? <laughs> so, I'll take it. So, so there are some <laughs> drugs like that. And of course, for some, it's just analgesics. Okay. That they, they just need to cope with everyday life. Mm. But for some, you need surgery. Mm. Mm. Okay. And then, because sometimes it can really, when all the organs come together, sometimes the mm. intestine also becomes part mm. of it. And it could present oh dear. as an emergency. Yeah. How hard well, yeah. is the, surgery, uh, the surgeries? The, from experience, what I know, my family friend didn't make it through surgery. No. When we talk about safety of surgery, mm. It depends on where you, you've gone to, to start with the facilities mm -hmm. available. Mm -hmm. the and that's one of the things that we see here in Nigeria, that people see doctors as everybody's a doctor. No. How the, safe is it? It's very safe, very, very safe. What we are even asking is that it should be done, if possible, through the laparoscope. You don't yeah. need to open yeah. the costume. Sometimes you need to do this. We're trying to discourage repeated surgeries, mm -hmm. but sometimes you don't have a choice. Mm. Some, I know some people have had 13 surgeries for endometriosis. Let's talk positively. Whoa. So the, you said some don't progress. Let's talk about the ones that don't progress. Because just as you said, for girls, I was totally different. My period, I was grateful for the delays because the PCOS now came as if God was managing a condition. Because when the period comes, I'm not able to do anything. I hated myself <laughs> and I'm grateful for my mom for having, having to manage me with heat, hot water, help my back and all of those things through period. So having my period come six months apart of each other was grace. It was bliss. I was just enjoying it. Don't come at all safe, you know, because of the pain that will come with it. So let's talk about the positives, the possibility of it not progressing, because that's another thing I'm grateful for. That, you know, after a while, I believe that it was herbs that it was given, but I, no, I'm just I, learning I think now that, you know. A mistake here. Mm -hmm. Polycystic ovaries. Mm -hmm. I had from that. Endometriosis. And I had terrible periods. Yeah, because if mm -hmm. you don't bleed for a, for long, a long time, time, you are likely to have pain mm -hmm. with the menses. Yeah. That's not endometriosis. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, okay. So when we're talking about endometriosis, we said some might not progress, but I would not even place so much emphasis on the ones that will not no progress. progress. Yeah. I would rather place more emphasis on the ones that will progress so that yeah. those people can know. To find to solution. Cope. But, yeah. I think the age yes. in, in Nigeria, once you have any, see, once a woman has pain now, mm -hmm. she goes to the hospital, they just give you uh, yeah, painkillers. So, I, how, how do you ensure your doctor mm -hmm. treats or even diagnoses correctly on time yes. for this condition? You know, I keep saying that it depends on where you go to. to yes. start with. Public if hospitals. You know, Let, okay, let's talk about the hospitals, hospitals that we go. It's public. Even well, public hospitals. Same, where are the specialists are available? No, even see. If you have a condition that you know you have like every month, you also, you are not going to stop yeah. talking. So you are not the person that somebody will just write paracetamol yes. for. If they do that, you say, you know what? I've done you understand. <laughs> I'm not going yeah, anywhere. Go another place. I need to see this, stop. this, this, this. And when you start talking to doctors, they are human beings, aren't they? When you talk reasonably to doctors, they know you know what you are talking about. They listen to you. So I think that's one thing that patients also, without being rude, need to be able to affirm or themselves or assert themselves 
and say, you know what? What I think is that have you thought about endometriosis? Without information. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. How do you find how do you young... patient just think that's the possible thing? Fantastic. So let's talk about the symptoms. The symptoms, like I said, one pain. Yes. This pain could be related to your cycle. It no, could just be certain. there all the time. Oh. But most of the time it's even worse when you're seeing your cycle. The thing about endometriosis is that most of the symptoms become worse when you're menstruating because that's when the harm is actually done. Mm. So you can see some people who they will have pain, even to urinate when they are menstruating, a lot of pain. Mm. When they go to the uh, loo to empty their bowel, they have a lot of pain. You know, when they have intercourse, like we said, they have a lot of pain. Um, and then some people also bleed from unusual places. Sometimes we see some people who will, maybe an old their section scar, they start bleeding from it, mm. during menses. That huh. is endometriosis. Okay. Or you see some people actually coughing out blood. Mm. And some people have been on anti-TB uh, drugs like forever. Mm. And it's not going. And it's not because it's not TB. They the what they have well. is endometriosis. And so those are the things, the, the symptoms that usually will lead you to go to the doctor. Okay, but infertility. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm just talking. For me, I'm just really concentrating on that young teenage girl who mm -hmm. has started her period, mm -hmm. she's confused about that, and now there's this pain. Mm. At what age would you say a child mm -hmm. can get surgery to help manage that? We don't usually recommend immediate surgery for children. Mm. Actually, that is where we're going now. Mm. We're going to the secondary schools. We're facing, because that's where you start your menses. Mm. Okay. And we've seen that 60% of the patients who have endometriosis, they've, sta they've started seeing their symptoms before age 20. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're facing these this secondary schools, telling them how endometriosis presents, and then being able to take some of them even for examination. Because mm -hmm. now, everybody, before we used to say that you need to do laparoscopy before you can diagnose endometriosis. But now, the diagnosis is being simplified all over the world. How? That what? we can, there is something that we can, you go back to your history taking. Okay. You can see sometimes that, like we said, some of these children, they don't go to school every month. Yes. So one of the things that in this kind of young girls, mm -hmm. you see a young girl, every month she misses school about four or five days. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are you waiting for? And that happens almost Regular. for one year. Mm -hmm. It's likely to be endometriosis. She's a patient you should pay more attention to. And therefore, the next stage you now go to, scanners, for God's sake, they are much better now. So the resolution is better. So, but we're talking about transvaginal or mm. rectal scan because for these girls who are still virgins, yeah, yeah. we don't want to do vaginal. So you can do rectal scan. You can examine them. And sometimes you can if, even feel the nodule of where the deposit is. And so we can make the diagnosis much earlier. Yeah. Some of them might still need laparoscopy when you have done everything, and then also now it's recognized that you can do what we call empirical treatment for them. Start them on some drugs that will stop them from ovulating for about three months with an adjustment. Mm -hmm. If they get better, very likely 68... There are no side effects to stopping a young girl from no, ovulating no, 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 for a no, short no, no. period? Okay. What's of prevention? Can this thing be predicted or mm. is there, is there like, is it genetically uh, driven? How, how do we prevent a child? My child, my child is growing and thinking, what can I do to stop it from even having it at all? Mm. Uh, well, unfortunately, for now, there's still nothing to prevent. We can only diagnose it early mm. because we believe that it's, it is in the genes. So if, it, because that's why one of the risk factors that a mother or a sister would have endometriosis. Mm. So we believe it's genetic. Wow. But we, the gene responsible has not yet been identified. So all we have now is to prevent early diagnosis to prevent progression. And then also to help these young girls in decision making, mm. you know, because if you have endometriosis, you know you have endometriosis. You might be thinking of storing your eggs if you are not ready to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You might be thinking of. Again. So, so for if you store you your, eggs, your eggs, we don't want mm -hmm. affordability mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. We want knowledge first. Mm -hmm. Let's know what we can do. Let's mm -hmm. know the options if, I have if, on if the table. You, if you store your eggs, then when you want to use them. In, in future, you can get pregnant with the endometriosis or what? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. Because, the, you know, 
It's a double whammy if you have endometriosis and you are about 38. Because mm. age and endometriosis. Mm. Endometriosis has effect on the quality of the eggs as well. Mm. So, mm. so if you can store them on time, by the time you want to use your eggs, you have a better child. They can, they can be fertilized in the incubator, right? Mm. You know, you yeah. can store eggs, mm. pure Just eggs. eggs. Well, I'm that when I store the eggs, yeah. how, do I, how, do, how do, does it get fertilized? Yeah. Do, no, no. do you insert it back no, or no, no, you can no, just no, fertilize no. in the lab? Well, we're coming to that pretty soon, but don't let us talk about it. Yeah, 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 but we're yeah. coming to that where we can put that back, but that's not, that's still experimental. You can have a call. Oh, yeah. so Ola Ide. Outside the room. Ola Ide from, um, yeah. from UK. Good morning, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. You're live. Go ahead, please. You're live. Hello, yeah, madam. Okay. Oh. Good morning. Good morning, you're Hello. live. Go ahead, please. Yeah, good morning. Morning. Good morning. Can you hear me? Very clearly. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, thank you for this beautiful topic. It's actually very encouraging, and I'm happy that we're discussing it. And thank you, Doctor. You actually said something. You said you want to go to secondary schools, and that is highly important because if this is not treated on time, it actually goes deep. And it affects that girl. The girl will become a lady, become a woman, and the person will not achieve on time. And health is actually wealth. It actually brings you down at times. You know who you are. You're doing things late. So, and this is not actually diagnosed on time. Mm -hmm. So for this to be diagnosed, it, it always it's a very long time. Yeah. And I'm very happy Thank that the doctor said that. So Thank you. Mariam talked about the psychological effects, which I think is extremely it important, is especially important. for young girls. Mm. It's part of your campaign. What do you plan to do to also ensure that these girls are properly counseled and how to manage it? Like, they ask questions, why me? Why am I doing having to go through this? You see, one of the problems that these people have is this, we don't make diagnosis. When you don't know what is wrong with you, it's even more troublesome. You get to the doctor and the doctor says it's in your head, mm. you know? Uh, nobody seems to understand you. you get married. So many careers have been truncated. You know, some people wanted to be lawyers, they wanted to be doctors, but they just can't pull through because of endometriosis. Yeah. So this, the first thing is for us to make them aware of this before even they become adults. Yeah. So once they are aware of this, also there is a, and we have a, a support group also for them. Mm where you can talk to people who have gone through this and also professionals. Okay, for example, we have some people who are talking to us from like Wari, like mm. Botacourt, you know. So we're trying to support them. Mm. So, so oh, um, sorry, Nima, I was going to ask. So if, let's say you don't take treatment, you manage yourself, you have your kids, till you are, let's say, 50, and then you're going through menopause, menopause will you still be disturbed Will this still disturb you, or mm. will it just cease? Menopause tends to make it better because you know it uh, it feeds on estrogen, mm. which is mm. the hormone of the woman. Mm. So when this gets less, the the problems tend to get better, and that's why sometimes also some doctors take out the uterus and the ovaries in order to when the Stop pain it. becomes very horrible. Let's talk about family managing it. So. Mothers who have had painful periods like this, who are able to live through it, so mm. menopause will have a different um, advice for their children. For the purpose of those watching, for the benefit of those watching, um, are all painful periods, you know, excusable? How should parents see painful periods? Thank you. Yeah. Any period that does not allow the daughter to do chores, you should go to a doctor. Let it be sorted out. It is not every painful period that is endometriosis. Okay. So we need to sort out the ones that are. And it is not everybody with endometriosis that we have infertility. It's about 50% yes. of people who have endometriosis that way. So it's possible for a woman to have endometriosis. It's possible for you not to have any symptoms at all. At all. It's yeah. possible for you to have children. To go through life. And go through life. Uh, you have learned to live with the period pain. Because it's not made so much progress. Mm. So there's just there's so many things yeah. on the spectrum. So right. it depends on where you are. Let me take this call from Bridget. She's been holding for a while. Bridget, are you there? 
Hello, Bridget. Hello, Bridget, are you there? Bridget. Bridget. Okay, so recently um, I've been seeing a lot of people posting pictures with like a patch on their stomachs, and I was wondering is that the place where you cut a person Not open around. to treat okay. um, endometriosis? So they have like um, plasters on their stomachs right above the nev uh, navel. Oh, okay. Yes, just in support of endometriosis oh, okay. month and things like that. Oh, so yeah. I was just yeah, wondering yeah. if that's the area where. That's the laparoscopy spot, uh, pot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where the. The periscope goes in to the abdomen, yeah. Mm. It's, we call it keyhole. So once that surgery is done... Um... Uh, 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 don't say that, no. <laughs> okay. The okay. surgery does, there's no cure. Okay. So you continue no, I mean, going... Once you go do that surgery, so you may go for others. You so might let, so go let me, for let me, others. Let me be clear. So when they put a pot... Yeah. There. The pot is an access, mm -hmm. right, into your stomach. Your tummy, yeah. That pot is there and it's covered. You can bath with it. You can live your normal oh, life. Yeah, just yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the pot is there permanently. No. And that was she's trying to say no, that. So no, at what no. point do we remove the pot? Oh no, 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 it's just a plaster. It's just a plaster right. now. Okay. It's just like you have a wound. Yeah. In two, three days, you should be able to remove it. But okay, when so you do that first time, some people may come for like in they two months. They can come or for another one. In months, in years. See, that's one of the things. You know, this endometriosis thing is like, it's just. In the last maybe 20 years, a lot of attention has been paid to it. Now we're beginning also to learn. Those carers are also beginning to learn more about it. There was a time the difference in managing in the U.S. and the U.K. was like day and night. Mm. In the U.S., it was very aggressive. You have this, go for surgery. You have, but now everybody is saying that surgery, if you don't control the number that you will do, by the time the, this young lady wants to have a baby, because there is no... There's no how good you are as a doctor mm. when you cut anything, scars will form. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the ovarian, what we call the ovarian reserve, that's the ability of the ovaries to make eggs, will be compromised because of blood mm. supply that's been compromised. Right. So now we're saying, look, reduce the number of surgeries only to when it is inevitable. Yeah. Okay, let so, me check Someone this. is asking. Okay, there's a call. There's a call. Bridget is back. Come on, Bridget. Are you there? Hello, Bridget. You're back. Are you there? Okay, thank you. You're live. Yeah. Um, thank you, Morayo, and the rest of the um, team. Please, I just want to um, ask the doctor um, if there is, if I'm having any issue, like I'm having this um, watery discharge that is a little bit yellowish in color, and I'm a, I'm an adult of um, 41. I've had three kids. So I don't know if there's any problem. I've I didn't hear you properly, Bridget. Can you just speak a bit louder? Okay, I've well, actually change. gone for a test, and um, there was nothing seen. I was given some antibiotics, but this discharge still continues. So I don't know if it's um, a We have to make a diagnosis on TV, madam. I'm not sure. I'm not sure we can get a diagnosis. We can also, also always... Um, see a gynecologist. Um, yeah, maybe we have to see a gynecologist. I'm sorry about that. We Hello. couldn't really hear you very yes. clearly. Some mm -hmm. uh, engineer yes. Alex is asking, mm -hmm. talking about this endometriosis, for someone to be vomiting during menstruation, mm -hmm. please, what is the cause? Vomiting during menstruation can be a lot of reasons. Because, you know, during there are a lot of hormones that are secreted just before you menstruate. So the thing is, that one, you need to see a doctor. There is something we call premenstrual uh, syndrome for some women. So mm -hmm. maybe it is, I don't know. So she, she needs to see a doctor. But that, that's okay. not the endometriosis. Okay. So I, I hope the person heard. You may have a question. It was the same one. Okay, same question. Okay, all right. So as we wrap it up, I mean, I'm really happy that you're going to the teenagers. You know, there are a lot of teenagers right now, they're very confused, and their parents are watching TV right now and say, okay, this could be an option. But you see pain. So what we've learned so far from is that once your child is going through consistent pain every month, they have to not maybe leave school for two, three days because of the same thing, see a doctor. And it, and it can be cured. It can be managed all for a long time. And once you get to menopause, it begins to reduce. The pain reduces eventually. Most people. And then it's like, oh, okay. All right, that's and also, good. Not, it's not a time to start taking hot drinks. You know, yeah. so, so in some parts of Nigeria, yeah. what they do is that they start giving the girl a uh, guguru from... Mm. <laughs> so, yes. But all the um, um, <laughs> hot water bottles <laughs> and um, hot towels... Oh, that, that, that helps, that okay. helps, that helps. Okay. So tell us a few other things, because we have about two minutes. What other things do people do so they know not to do it anymore? 
Well, the, I think the most important thing is that you should see a doctor. If the doctor cannot make a diagnosis, see another one. There's some, something called second opinion. And when we talk about second opinion, what is irritating sometimes is that somebody has seen a gynecologist. You're going to see a GP for a second opinion. That's not on. Okay. It must be likes. Yeah. Okay. So have a second opinion. Do not rest until if you have menstrual pain that nobody can explain why it's there to you. Don't rest until yeah. you find a doctor who can talk to you about what is wrong. Fantastic. Thank you very much. So it's always a pleasure having you on the show, sir. Um, thank you for explaining to us some more on this condition for women. So you heard it. Please, once your teenage daughter is going through this kind of pain, mm -hmm. get a doctor to see exactly the cause. And hopefully, if it's, a, if it's endometriosis, they can be also manage it. And hopefully, they don't have to do surgery if they can manage it early enough. That is all we can take on the show today. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.